I warmly welcome author, parliamentarian and former Chief Minister of Punjab, Captain Amrinder Singh to our city and to the APJ Kolkata Literary Festival. Lord Lytton, the Governor of Bengal, unveiled this beautiful monument in 1924, which was a tribute to the 896 Laskas who died fighting for the British Navy in the Great War, World War I. A big thank you to the Navy, especially Commodore Ravi Aluwalia, for making this available to us. AKLF has always believed in highlighting our heritage, not just literary, but our city's heritage. I'd like to invite General Shankar Roy Chaudhary, Chief of Ar former Chief of Army Staff, to release the book and then say a few words. Captain Amrinder Singh of Patiala, Member of Parliament, for this extremely, extremely detailed and painstakingly researched book which he has brought out. It's a book which is obviously a labor of love. And it shows that you can take the man out of the uniform but you can't take the uniform out of the man. It's a total labor of love, and I think it's come across exceedingly well. A book that's one of many, because dozens have come out in the West to celebrate the centenary of the murder in Sarajevo and the outbreak of World War I. Very few have been written by Indian authors, and that's because, as a reviewer of uh, Captain Amanda Singh's book said, our historians don't think it quite proper to in any way eulogize what was, after all, an imperial effort. But if we cooperate with the British in this war, uh, perhaps we'll get independence sooner. They must have been given indication to that effect by, by uh, people in England. But eventually, when, when after the war was over, uh, there was a slowing down of that process. You can imagine that even today, India Gate in Delhi, is our memorial to the, to the First World War. But there are only 62,000 names on it. The War Graves Commission has 74,000 names on it. What is the gap? 12,000 soldiers belong to the state forces. And when the casualty returns came from the Indian Army, they came to Army headquarters and were duly recorded. But the state forces, when they had casualties, sent them to their own Army headquarters. And they were not collated and sent to, uh, to Army headquarters.